Hello creatives, I'm Ari and this is Shameless Three Creative and today I have an art haul. So let's get right into it. I purchased from Jerry's Artorama, Amazon, Etsy, and A Gallo over the last few weeks and this is going to be what I picked up and what I've been playing with. So let's get started. I will start with Jerry's Artorama. I purchased two of their watercolor reflections square journals. I thought those would be perfect for doing watercolor or gouache challenges. I wasn't expecting these to be the best quality. I'm I was just wanting the square format. I really like this 5x5 five five size for like Inktober. Um, but opening it up, they are really thick sheets. So, and it has a little pocket in the back. So that is surprising. And um, as always, the first sheet, don't ever rip that. See how it's glued to the cover sheet? Um, that is part of the binding process, so you don't want to rip this off. You just want to leave that glued. Just use this as a title page or something. Um, It lies pretty flat. So those two things, they also have perforated pages. I personally don't, if I'm using it for a sketchbook or journal, I don't personally like that. But if, if you want to paint in here and remove the picture, then it's really great. So I'm, I'm hopeful for these. So this is the five by five. 24 sheets, 48 pages, 140 pound acid-free cold press watercolor paper. It will accept all wet media. It has micro perforated sheets and it has a pocket inside. So it's not cotton, but we'll see. It may hold gouache really well or pencil and we'll see what it does with watercolor and times to come. I will hopefully remember to give you a review after I've filled one. So picked up two of those. I said you would see a new palette. I picked up a cer another ceramic palette. I'm questioning exactly why I got this one now that I think about it because this is a little less useful for inks or um, I probably should have gone with another flower palette but we'll see and that was the deluxe creative mark palette it's a four by seven four and a quarter by seven and a half palette for some reason I always have stuff on palettes still have the pencil on the palette I use these little spoons you can pick them up at kitchen stores or Ikea on Amazon for really cheap for like 10 or 20 of these and I use those for single pigments if I'm just doing an ink or uh, I didn't buy those today but just want to show you because they're handy I always keep those on my desk if I just need a small one color palette also from Jerry's Artorama so the palette I purchased for like five dollars on Jerry's Artorama the sketchbooks were about $5 on Jerry's Artorama. I also got some more artist trading cards. There was an assortment pack so I could try some different papers and see how they work with the different media I want to make artist trading cards with. I also picked up a set of bamboo. These are the 400 series Strathmore papers. The the assorted pack comes with two sheets of vellum, bristol, smooth bristol, canvas, textured, 
paper, watercolor paper, and one illustrator board and one acrylic. So, but it's the perfect size for our trading cards. So that may be if you're interested in doing your own cards for sale or just making cards for people who might be interested in those. I also picked up when it was on sale, the Mungyo Aquarelle Oil Pastels. So you get, this set comes with 12. The week after I purchased this, the 24 set went on sale. And at first I was upset because it was like only like $8 for the, the upgraded 24 set. And it had like a skin tone in it. But then I realized I had purchased this for like $4 or $3. So I didn't feel quite so bad. Now these are, they're water soluble. So during their water soluble sale, I picked these up. I want to try, I was going to go for a little bit more expensive brand. Coretta Color has some water oil pastels but credit color i really don't like their pencils so i'm i'm guessing i'm probably not gonna like their oil pastels but i haven't tried them and i just thought i'm not sure i even want oil pastel let's quickly swatch these I also picked up a Vanish, it's supposed to be a 4-in-1 eraser. So it does pick up so what they said it would do is collect all these like you wouldn't end up with a big Um, like they would all collect rather than having a desk full of shavings and I don't know I don't see it being any special kind of eraser so that was the vanish the vanish four in one as I said it, it was supposed to make really thick eraser bits so you could just pick them up but obviously it makes a whole bunch of dust some of you told me that you really like the Prismacolor brand and although I really love my polychromos pencil I always have them handy on my desk and I really enjoy them for drawing they're a little bit harder pencil so the ones I've I've purchased before are the Prismacolor Neons and White. So those, um, let's see, I think I have the Prismacolor Yellow, yeah. So these are the ones I always purchase and I use those with my Polychromos and watercolor artwork. I really like these colors. So I've it's not like I haven't used Prismacolor, but I haven't used them to make a drawing or portrait yet. So I thought if I could find a set of Prismacolor on sale, I would do it. 
Amazon had this set, which is a 79 count color pencil mixed media set. And I thought that was interesting. You get 48 soft core colored pencils, 12 very thin colored pencils, 12 watercolor pencils, and six art sticks colored pencils plus a sharpener. The 48 set of Prisma Premier pencils, but then I also am able to try the 12 very thin colored pencils and the 12 watercolor pencils along with the art sticks. So I thought it was a good deal. I think I paid $48 for this. Um, lately it seems like it's been really hard to find Prismacolor on, um, you know, like it, they seem sold out everywhere. So I was kind of excited about, um, if you, you have, uh, the Prismacolor sticks, do you use them mostly for backgrounds. I've never tried a pencil stick like this. So I'm just wondering, you know, like, like it, it seems like, like the blue might be nice for backgrounds or the green in like your coloring books and such. I really like how they're going down on paper. These are the Prismacolor watercolor pencils. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these and what you use them for. That would be really helpful. Right now I use my Polychromos as sketching. I don't use them for coloring books or anything and that's kind of why I wanted to try these. So the Verithin are not sharpened so I'm not going to do that on camera. Look at all this Prismacolor fun to try. All right, I'm really excited about this set. And I'm just testing just to see if they do anything, but they don't. I wasn't expecting them to, but I really like the watercolor pencils. And I just swatched the purple and I really, I really like them. I, I'm excited to try them in some of my coloring books. As I said, I usually use my uh, polychromos for drawing and portraits. So I'm excited to try portraits with these, but really I want a nice set for coloring books that I didn't have to feel as bad using them up. I mean, there's still, you know, $50 for this is still a chunk of change. You know, it's not, they're not, they're definitely not cheap pencils and I've just heard that some people prefer the more waxy soft laying down of the Prismacolors over the Polychromos. Everybody has their personal preference and as I said because I only tried the neons and the white I really was interested to see how these work and I'm really I'm really happy with this purchase and the fact that I, I'm able to try, I don't know if this is their entire line of pencils. Maybe some of you know that are more familiar with the Prismacolors because I'm not. But having the watercolor, the very thin, the sticks, and the, the 48 colors. Like, yeah, it's not a wide selection for coloring, coloring books, but it gives me many options and lots of color play. So if you love Prismacolor, leave a comment again and let me know if you've used the Aquastic, or not the Aquastics, the 
color pencil sticks and what you use them for if you've tried the watercolors and what other things you use Prismacolor for. I, I'm really excited to try them for a portrait too. So again, that was a 79 count for about $48 I picked up on Amazon. And I thought it was a really good deal because it seemed like everywhere else I was looking for $24 or $48. It was like $30 something. So I thought, you know, to be able to try several different types of their product for less than $50, that made me really happy. So I picked that up Amazon. Coloring Book Cafe, if you're into coloring, had their 100 baby animals. And I like cutesy things, so I was pretty, you know, they're very simple. Kind of cartoony. But I have a child in my life that I really am looking forward to, you know, having just having a lar a really large um, coloring book that they can color along or we can color together. The paper isn't, you know, the thickest paper ever, but they're all one-sided, which is nice. But the paper feels like Pretty thin paper. The other thing I picked up was Textures, 101 Textures by two different authors, Stephen Pierce and Denise Howard. Um, Denise Howard on the Textures Step-by-Step -step in Color Pencil. It has the color mixing. It has aging skin. It has hair, curly hair, wavy hair facial hair, things I'm struggling with, I step-by-step, step. canine fur, short hair, cat eyes. It goes into fabric, which I'm also struggling with. So I saw these on Amazon, glass, porcelain, copper, brick, just food. It just kind of was, you know, 101 textures, and again, you know, you, you want your art time to be productive and make fun art. There's also a practice aspect to creating art, and so I'm going to look at these as kind of master studies of different textures and working with my pencils. The graphite, if you love working in graphite and charcoal, same thing. Aged skin, wavy hair, straight hair, facial hair, animals, fabrics, like knitted fabric, denim, silk, same thing, things in you know, pottery, metal, And then food and beverages again. So I'm going to use them that way as kind of a study. Just start from the beginning or pick something that I'm interested in and use it for a practice session of practicing my fabrics or practicing my textures. So I was really happy to find those. They were relatively cheap. I think they were like $10 each with Prime free shipping. So that was awesome. So that was my Amazon purchase. Prismacolors, the books, coloring book. I purchased two more sets of, so this is another two weeks. We get one a week of Rachel Beth handmade watercolors. I got the secondary set, which we're going to swatch out and the Sparkle and Shine set. And these will be my last ones until she comes out with another palette I really want. I'm not interested in any of her summer palettes after the Sparkle and Shine.
Let's swatch these puppies. Monte Carlo Green. Purple Violet. Lori blue and she said of course that it is you know she knows that the blue isn't a secondary but she wanted to include it because it just worked so well with the others Lori blue and as you can see this this seems to have a little different texture and shine than the the paint underneath just to show you Ercolino orange. Oh, and I can smell the clove oil or something with these. I think it's a clove oil. Oops. Ultramarine rose. And again, notice the texture of the paint on top and sheen compared to the paint underneath. It's just to note it, not to say it's good or bad. Just different texture, different color. So, so we have our five colors. I use a little spray bottle to wet my paints. There's our secondary set. We'll let those set as we open up the Sparkle and Shine. We only have three colors in this set. Our first is Sugared Blueberries. Our second is Frosted Cake. Frosted cake, sparkling sangria. And here's our Sparkle and Shine set. There's just something, I just, red, white, and blue always makes me happy to look at. It's kind of like red, green, and white for Christmas. It just evokes some really nice memories from childhood. We were really big when I was a kid into celebrating 4th of July. So I had to get, get that set. Regardless if I like some of the other summer sets, I really in, thought that the Sparkle and Shine was a cute. And again, here's the secondaries. I'll show them at the end when they're dry. 
Here's their card, a Gallo, handmade in Italy. Honey watercolors, aquarelle. Finest quality, eco-friendly, artist-made paints. So if you want to find out more, agallocolors.com, Instagram, at a, a, a gallo colors. These were shipped from Maine, though. Like, so I'm not sure if they have a shipping office in Maine or what, but I, I received them really a lot faster than I thought I would. I purchased their Essential 6. So again, and a tr with a travel brush. A cute little cute little wrapper. Nicely wrapped. A little card, no magnet on the back. Two reds, two blues, two yellows. The essentials. You can make almost anything with those. So our first one is lemon yellow. PY3. And they did write PY3 on there, so that's nice. But it doesn't correspond to the card. Y3. They're cutely wrapped. Nice, simple, no foil to contend with. And this is PY110, PY154. Beautifully bold paints. PR255, Vermilion, Gum Arabic, and Bind, gum Arabic binder, vermilion red. Each of these has a magnet on the back. Pigment number, but not color. PB19, Carmine. PB153. Again, beautifully mold paint. PB15-3. That's a transparent cerulean. And our last in the set is ultramarine PB29. Ultramarine PB29. So there's your Essential primaries, cool yellow, cool red, cool blue, warm yellow, warm red, warm blue. We'll do our swatch card, but really cute, simple packaging. And then this was the number six travel brush. We have the number six travel brush. Nice pointy tip. Nice. This has a nice snappy brush. This brush is really nice and snappy. Like, makes me happy. I like sn the snappy brushes. Seems to keep its point nice.
There's the colors while still wet. Side by side, you really can tell the warm and cool colors. They go on paper just wonderfully. Larger swatching of those colors. Beautiful paint. Goes on wonderfully. Here's our sparkle and shine paint. It's now dry. Really cute set. As I said, I'm buying this, these for the cuteness factor more so than the paint. There's our secondary colors. These are all good. Not coming up on my finger. So these are our watercolors that arrived this the last two weeks. That's our art haul. Again, I purchased from Amazon, Etsy, Jerry's Artorama, A Gallo, and this was my art haul for the last two weeks, two, three weeks. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item I picked up was, or comment about one of your favorite things you've picked up in the last few weeks for your art journey. All right, I'm Ari, this is Shamelessly Creative, and we just got busy with our art haul. I'm excited to try so many of these things. Again, that's a note, when you have so many cool things coming in, it is really frustrating because I only have so much time and I only can get to so many things, but now that we decided to swatch these out, it's nice because I can quickly use them. So that was the hardest thing. I still have a few more watercolor sets I found from previous art hauls that I had not unboxed. I thought I was almost done, but I'm not. So this is really helping to swatch them out in these videos and you get a sneak peek at the colors in case there's something you wanna look for or pick up. So it's helping both of us. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Thank you for watching. I'm Ari and this is Shamelessly Creative. See you in the next video. Bye.